Hey, what's going on? It's Arav here, and welcome back to an episode of my F1 2018 Alfa Romeo Fantasy Career Mode here, Motorsport Manager for round number two of the Chinese Grand Prix. If you did miss the opening round at the Australian Grand Prix, be sure to go check that episode out before you see this one. Uh, the last three episodes, I think, have been uploaded literally daily, one after the other, so you might have missed it in your sub box or the homepage or wherever you're viewing it on these days on YouTube. I, I really don't know, but anyway, you might have missed it, so do, do go check it out because it was a really great one, and you can clearly see now, spoiler alert, if you look over on the right, you can see the results actually of that first race and of course now with the point system it's all rather close still because there's only one point between my two drivers Verstappen and Leclerc and there's only one point after that to Valtteri Bottas in the Red Bull car so it's uh it's it's very very close and obviously the star of that race really was Sebastian Vettel he's only a couple of four or five points off the the top there in a Sauber so that's gonna be very very intriguing to see actually though I did make a little bit of a blunder I kept saying points for all the drivers it's points for the top 20 of course the rules of uh, of the game are still from the original game, I think. So obviously, originally in the F1 uh, version of the game, there's only 20 runners, but the fantasy mod has placed four more drivers in the game, essentially. I think that's how it's worked out. Or, I don't know, but uh, whatever. I just didn't read the rules correctly completely. It's not points for all drivers. It's points for the top 20. But still pretty much good enough to the point where if we have a bad race, if Red Bull or Mercedes have a bad race, which inevitably will happen once or twice, then they get still going to get a decent amount of points. And for Ferrari, I mean, Giovinazzi didn't do uh, too great in P9, but he did get pole. So it shows the Ferrari and Giovinazzi does have the pace. They just need to work on their race strategy, perhaps, and the race pace. And, uh, yeah, I think a lot of you guys were really enjoying that whole dynamic of the fact that we are racing our old teammates, our old drivers of Giovinazzi in the Ferrari now, and Sainz in the Red Bull. It's, you know, it's almost kind of been, it means a bit more. It's a bit more personal when it's kind of like that, and that's what you get after doing five seasons now of the game. But it's all kind of changed in a great way. So we have some exciting stuff here, because we've got two days until our brakes facility is done. We've got to wait a little bit for our uh, car repair to be done. There we go. I think it's done now. Yep, so now we can look on to doing... Well, we're still working on reliability, but we're now doing performance as well. Reliability on all those... I mean, there wasn't really... I can't, I'm trying to think back to last episode. If there was something really that was niggling at us. I don't think so. So I think we're fine on the reliability front. Maybe we want to do the brakes, though. Um, yeah, I'm going to take the front wings off and put the brakes on instead. Uh, I'm going to shift that back to 18 to 12. Yeah. Seems about right, because I want to go more towards performance. And uh, pretty much now, we can maybe start building parts. I mean, we are building one part already of the suspension. But once that's done, we can get straight away onto another one. So, I mean, that, I think that's going to be hopefully the pattern, I'm going to say, this season. is As soon as the part's done, we'll make a new one. And we just keep on going like that until we get to a certain point in the season. I'm going to say probably around... Maybe about Belgium. I think around Belgium or Italy. Maybe, yeah, maybe Italy, our home Grand Prix. That's the race we then put the, the self-induced cutoff period of, okay, let's start saving now for the next season. Uh, but sponsors, we finally got a slot six. So let's see. Fixed payment me up. There we go. Fixed payments. They're not very great fixed payments, but of course, this is slot six. It's the smaller sponsors here. The big ones are always here on the left-hand side. So Red Bull, obviously, is the huge one that we get. But um, the smaller ones also are going to pay in, obviously. So we got Ray-Ban, Puma, and Magneti Morelli. So six race, 13-13. So we get more from Puma, but that's over 13 races. And we only get 2,000 less um, for Ray-Ban. And it's only for six races, so therefore I can refresh this sponsor slot within this season. This season, I'll get to redo this sponsor rather than having to have it for the entirety of the rest of the season and going on to season six. So I'm going to do Ray-Ban. It's only 2,000 less. That's hardly anything, really. We're not going to see 2,000. Plus, also, in terms of... I, I try and like to keep it a little bit also. Let's kind of be... Let's think a bit more about brand awareness a little bit almost. We've, you know, we've created this kind of almost storyline of Red Bull buying us out. Let's also pay attention to... I think Ray-Ban's also a bit more of a better fit for our brand than Puma might be. So I think we're going to go for that because we already have Adidas as a sponsor. So it doesn't make any sense. So we're going to go for Ray-Ban then, accept offer. And so now, finance-wise, uh, we're going to get 2.9 per race. I don't know if, that, if that's uh, that's actually taken into effect already. We'll see. We'll see. But we got how I think we got like 2.9. Five or something like that last race, so we didn't get uh, we didn't get like a three million that we were getting at the end of last season, but we're gonna get to there eventually. But anyway, here we go. 
HQ's built and uh, the brake facility, this is the one, brake facility is now being done. So our brakes can technically get to great. So if we do iterations that far, we can get there. So no bottleneck on that front. Still, the headquarters looks pretty damn weak, very weak. But um, it's never really mattered too much, to be honest. It's more about the actual race performance and whatnot. But actually, I forgot to tell you guys, I've got a contract proposal here. I sent a contract over to Mick Schumacher. He's two stars. He's got a lot of potential, five stars. I thought we might sign him on the cheap, see if we could, uh, well, he, he said he didn't really care about his wages. So I sent him a very, very undermining contract offer. See if he accepts it. If he does, then yeah, I might just sign him on for the for the sake of having a reserve backup role. Max Verstappen, though, has been auditioning for films. Plus 20 on marketability. Okay, then, Max, you do that. E earning my wings. Training for pilot's license. Minus two on focus. Plus five mark. Okay, that's fine. Contract and negotiation. Okay, he's uh, he's not happy with the wage. Mate, you said, you said wage is not important to you. I've given you plus one on your lowest order. Um, I can't even be giving you 82,000 for doing nothing. You don't even have better feedback than Leclerc or Verstappen. So it's going to be a no from me, dog. It's going to be a, a swift retract contract. Because if you're not going to have better feedback than the, my two main drivers, then the only point for you being in the team is for me to grow another young talent. But we're already growing two young talents anyway. So uh, welcome back to the stable, Georgie Martindale. It, I will say if one of these drivers gets injured, I am royally, royally fucked. But um, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So let's just move forward then towards designing the suspension, which will get done right before the Chinese Grand Prix. So that's really good. So straight away, let's design a new part then. So suspension is still pretty poor. So let's work on that and get not another iteration done, essentially. Uh, and since we're doing more iterations, I might look at doing minus three build build time on the on the days there that's going to be quite useful and then plus 25 on the cornering may as well oh actually you know what i'll add a random good component let's see how that works out random good component uh and so that's going to get done in three days less than the last one would have done uh that's going to cost us 2.5 that's quite expensive for an iteration but it's worth it because then we get to this great section which we definitely need. We definitely need. Because look at that. Good component takes no time to build. That's got a pretty damn good one. Then we got stuff like plus 50 on wet and into conditions. Got plus 70 outright with the risk level. Um, yeah, those are quite good iterations. So I think we're going to go for that. That should work out. Minus 10 reliability. Plus 5 on the red zone. But also adds a random good component. So we could get one of these. So risk it for a chocolate biscuit? Yeah, I think so. 2.5 million. We're back in the red. That's fine. I think we'll be bouncing in and out of the red quite a few times this season due to the fact that we're going to constantly spend our money. But now, what we're going to do is remove all of this and add the sole suspension on. Move that to 20 and that'll get done one day after the Grand Prix. But that should be good enough to actually use in the race. I'll add on the performance as well and bump that up. Uh, that's already our best suspension part, but I'll just keep on improving it. We'll improve that one as well. Uh, actually, you know what? I may as well keep the ones I want to do anyway. Uh, so I don't really know why I actually removed those. So let's add the engines back. I'll add that brake in that one. Is that any better? Is that? Yeah, that is better. Yeah. Okay, we'll go with these. And now we're going to move on. I'm going to keep an eye, though, on that. Because we're going to move on to... Here we go. One sec. Por favor. Uh, as we move here. Uh, 60%. Right, one more. Oh, we got some financial... Don't we? I've got it. I've got it, man. Calm down. My, 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 the chairman's going to keep asking me if I've got it under control. I have it under control. Okay? I know I'm very frugal with my money here. Okay? That's my game in this game. How are we looking? 80%. Bang. Bosh. Done. Right. So we can add other stuff back. 79. These two are pretty weak still. 79, 79. Yeah. Let's add those. And then we're going to go to 9. Yeah. 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 20 to 10. Two thirds again. One third. And now we're ready to travel to the Chinese Grand Prix. Beijing. Warning. Dodgy neck. I'm not going to leave him at home though. I'm not going to leave the staff at home. He has a dodgy neck. But it says. What is it? The dodgy neck details. It gives him a fitness of 10. Oh, wait, well, hang on. He's got a normal fitness of 10. He gets plus 2. He's on 12. So then he's on mi minus 8. So he'll have a fitness of 2. 
That's okay. That he can look. It's it's Max Verstappen. He can deal with it. He can look. We'll do what Vettel did at, at, at Silverstone. We'll like put some tape on his neck. We'll put some extra padding in the car, and we'll you know give him a bonus if he does really well. Uh, tire selection. I'm gonna go with plenty of soft tires. Obviously, it's gonna. It, ooh, it's a very rainy weekend. Jesus. So we might not need. We might need a lot of mediums actually. So let's go for a bit of an even spread here, because we might need the medium tyres for the first time in a while here, if we need to stretch stints due to the wet weather in the race. But we're all good for that. Um, due to Verstappen's dodgy neck, I think it's only logical we give the better parts to Leclerc, pretty much across the board almost. So better engine to Leclerc, better brakes to Leclerc, better front wing to Leclerc, gearbox as well. I will give the better rear wing and suspension to, Leclerc, to Verstappen. But pretty much Leclerc has the better car. But I think, logically speaking, that is the better way to go due to the fact he has a dodgy neck. It just wouldn't be... It wouldn't make sense because he's going to... He might do worse than Leclerc in equal cars. So I may as well give Leclerc the better car to actually go out there and perform and do... And potentially, I don't know, get the win. So let's go to practice then. On to what might be uh, actually quite a useful one. Because there's heavy rain in both. It's stormy in the race and heavy rain in practice. So might be quite useful. But uh, probably won't be using any of these tyres here that you see there. Right, going to practice. Going to wait a little bit. Because the rain is going to come out within pretty much a lap or so. So pretty much going to wait for that rain to start coming down. Then we'll send them out straight on wet tyres to get that knowledge. No point kind of going out straight away on dries. Because it's going to start raining the tree now. So now I'll send them out on full wets. Probably a little bit too early for four wets, but I'll do it anyway because, well, we need to just get as much knowledge as we can. Because if it is going to be stormy in the race, I, you know, having wet knowledge might be the way to go for the race. So send them out though. Obviously, we're going to do some setup runs, but since it's going to be raining for this first portion, then going dry actually, I will just keep them out on wet tires right now for four laps. Then we'll bring them in and do the setup change stuff afterwards. Because the difference is it's heavy rain in this session. It said the word stormy in the race. So I'm banking on it actually raining for quite a good portion. Even if it's inters and then wets, it's going to be potentially good to have this bit of wet knowledge. But knowing the game, it's going to screw me over again and be like, oh, no, no, actually stormy means actually about 90% of the race is dry. And then it's an actual, absolute thunderclot of a... Of a, of a storm right at the end for the last 10% of the race. But uh, coming through then, pretty much at the end of the wet portion, we're going to get level 2 just about. There we go, level 2. And they're coming in. That was perfect timing. Look at that. They're going to come in straight away. That was perfect timing on level 2 on the wets. And they come in from their stint. Awesome. Right, you're in, boys. And look at that. Verstappen set up very, very good. Leclerc, not so much. But Verstappen, even with a dodgy neck, mate, you're doing very well. Very well indeed. 98% boss to set up, fam. Bossed it. Right, so we're going to go for um, quali. Yeah, let's get some quali trim in there. We've done race trim of two already, so let's go for the quali trim of super softs just in case we need that. Or do I not bother with super softs? Do I gamble on the fact it's going to rain in quali as well? Um, and then in that fact, I might, might want the soft or medium knowledge. Ooh, this is interesting. Now it's about taking a gamble. And uh, you know what? I'm going to take the gamble. I'm going to take the gamble. We're going to go to soft tyres and do quality knowledge because I'm going to gamble it is going to rain in quality and I'm not going to need the super soft tyres. And I'm going to need, uh, theoretically, maybe the softs to help me out if it's going from dry to wet. I need the middle tyre minimum to allow me that flexibility of moving from the dry period to the wet period and not making extra stops. So that's what we're going to go with. So get the quality and soft tyre knowledge. And then right at the end, it'll be raining again. So maybe get some inter knowledge then as well. All right, they're on their in lap. That's pretty bad timing because the rain's going to come in just as they come in. So I can't send them out again. I also forgot to do Leclerc's setup. So I need to readjust his setup then. So, kind of odd, because I gave them the same setup, basically. So, Leclerc does not like that. And I don't know what he wants. Potentially harder suspension, maybe more top-end speed. Let's see, because uh, I remember Carlos Sainz used to love that. He, he wanted more oversteer. He wanted more understeer, I should say, and more top-end speed. So, let's see. But we'll do the... We've already got level 2, so I'll, I'll split it and go level 2 on the quality trim as well. We'll go again on another set of soft tyres. Just screw it. Go out for this little bit. Even if it's a little bit, it's worth trying to aim for that soft tire knowledge of level 2 and the quality knowledge, just trying to get it last minute grind out here before it starts raining again, there we go, the rain starts but we will get the knowledge and I think we can come in and get that level 2, come on, tick over, tick over do it, do it, come on come on, one pixel there we go, right, did an outlap basically and came in and they got the knowledge, 
So now, you lads can go on the race trim again for eight laps on inters. You know, we'll do four laps. There's not enough time left. So inters, four laps. Race, inters, four laps. How's your setup looking, Leclerc? 97. Bang on. Lovely stuff, mate. Right, go out there, lads. Get some inters knowledge, but probably not enough to even warrant one level. But I would say a pretty successful practice program done. Pretty busy one, actually, as well. I feel like we did so much there. We've got, yeah, look at that. On the chart, the only thing we don't have is super soft and medium knowledge. We have knowledge on everything else. And we've got race trim at level three. Awesome, guys. Great work. Level one inters as well. I'm liking this. We've set ourselves up very well for the race. Very well for the race. And quality, we're not too bad as well. Level two and quality trim. And we've got wet tire knowledge. We've got a level one on inters as well. Level two on soft. So... We're prepared for everything this weekend. Right, qualifying time, and it is indeed raining. But how hard is the question? Intermediates only, then it's going to go dry. So, very good. We had the Inter's knowledge, but I'm going to gamble on that the fact that we're going to have a dry enough period. And so, should I even bother choosing the... So is level 2 on softs as fast as super softs? I doubt it. I doubt it. But for the race, it might be needed. So let's go for into level one then. Into level one. Just just try and get a good banker lap first. And then we'll see how it goes, really. You know what? I'll split this. I'll split this. Verstappen has nothing to lose. Let's go on soft tires for him and see how that works out. Let's go Quali. He's, he's got the dodgy neck, so we don't have much to lose there with him. But I'm going to send Leclerc out straight away on inters on his quali lap. We'll do the same for Verstappen. I mean, I'll wait a little bit here, actually. I'll send Leclerc out first. We'll wait a hot minute. We'll go auto for Leclerc. We'll wait for a little bit. Try and find some space if we can. Right, whole gaggle of cars just went out. Whole gaggle will go more. I'm going to go now. Let's see how that works out. We're the last on the pit lane, actually, so that's really annoying every time. All right, there's a car there, but it's an okay amount of space compared to what we had in Australia. We'll go for auto with Verstappen as well. And we'll push on. And that period of rain is going to end pretty much as we finish the lap. So you know what? I might bring Verstappen in. I will keep Leclerc out because he's already on his lap. I'm going to bring Verstappen in. And we're going to wait for that dry period, you know. We're going to try and risk this with Verstappen here. Because that period is going to come in real quick. And we only have a little bit of time to work with on those uh, on those soft tyres. So Leclerc's on provisional pole at the moment. Obviously no one's set a time yet. We're going to wait a little bit halfway through this. And now I'm going to send Verstappen out on soft tyres. And we're going to try and put in a lap. Yeah, wow. These guys went on super softs. They risked it and they've done it. Wow. How was the, mer the Merc? Okay. Well, for the first time, the Merc's actually flexing his muscles once again in the season. And has uh, beat me on super... It's uh, That's a lot like Germany. The German Grand Prix we just had. Like fresh fresh slicks are faster than Inters. It's like the F1 game all over again when the, the Inters are worse than the, the dry, damp tyres. Right, uh, Verstappen then. Let's see what you can do on these softs. Uh, meanwhile, Leclerc, you're kind of stranded, my mate, because uh, you're going to come in. There's not going to be enough time, maybe, for a quick lap on those uh, on those, uh, on those those supers that you might try out. Um, I don't know. We'll send you out. Let's try it. Right, auto. Right, Verstappen, what are we saying? What's the computer got you? Perfect and overheated. Right, level two on soft tyres, remember? Let's see how he performs. Obviously, we don't have to start on these tyres. There's no rule like that. So let's just see what he can do with level two versus no level on super soft with Leclerc. Uh, I'll be curious to see how this plays out, actually. Of course, factor in that Leclerc has the better car and that Verstappen, uh, Verstappen has the dodgy neck. But also, will be interesting to see the pace of them, too. He's gone green. Obviously, he's not set a time yet. Perfect and good for Leclerc. So the computer did that really well for him. Let's see. Two tenths faster. Across the line, and it is, ooh, a little bit slower than Leclerc, but faster than most of the grid on soft tyres. So, fair play, fair play, but Leclerc should be going faster than he's going right now. He's one-tenth down because it started to rain. Ah, uh, what's it going to be at the end of this? Sector two, ooh, two seconds down, no point, come in. Right, so it looks like we're going to have to settle for P2 and P3 maybe on the grid, but I'm impressed. I'm very confused. Leclerc's qualified on Inters in P2, and Verstappen's qualified in P3 on Softs. Take it as you as you will, you know. This is the very crazy and hectic quality, but now it's all raining, so pretty much no one's going to improve, 
And so we're guaranteed. So that's a very mixed up grid away from the top four. We've got the two Mercs, P1 and P4. Us two Alphas in 2-3. But after that, you've got the Williams of Lynn outperforming Hamilton in fifth place. Hamilton's down in eighth. Lynn, his much worse teammate in P5 there. So the Williams is maybe taking a step up from Australia. Vettel has dragged that Sauber up once again into the top seven in a Sauber that's been newly promoted to F1. Stroll in the Torosso in P6. The Ferrari's really struggling. Ocon is down in 18. Giovinazzi P10. Even though Giovinazzi technically worse than Ocon, I think, uh, stats-wise. So very, very surprising. So that is the end of the session then. And we are in P2 and P3. I'm pretty happy with that. Unfortunately, not to get pole by 600s, but fair play to Janny in the uh, Mercedes car. He's pulled out of the bag, and it looks like we have a bit of a race on our hands with the Mercs, maybe. And you never know. Lynn up there, Vettel. Hamilton wants to say something. Uh, to be fair, the Gasly was in P9, so the Sauber has step stepped up in China. Gasly's only P9, so the Sauber's definitely maybe had an upgrade coming to China off the back of Australia. I mean, we had an upgrade, so definitely not out of the question for Sauber to have uh, worked an upgrade into their package before China. But now we come to this torrential rain, stormy conditions, and is it going to be full wets, though? Uh, yeah, it is. We're going to... There's no point in starting on Inters, lads. There's, we need to start on the full wets. So, tyre choice, full wet. Fuel option's fine. Fuel uh, full wet, fuel option's fine. And I'm pretty much... We're on full wets for at least a third of this race. Then we're on to inters. I say we try and pull an advantage on the full wet tyres. And then try and hold that through. So, I'll go for race level 3 and wet tyre knowledge. We're going to try and build a gap. And then, obviously, they might try and catch us. But by that point, hopefully, we can try and manage the gap. And, you know, defend if we need to. That's the game plan, though, I think. Because it looks like it's going to go to inters then. And then maybe dries right at the end. But hopefully by that point, we're far ahead. Hopefully. You've selected tyres which don't suit the current weather conditions. Well, you know what? Middle finger to you, game. I'm fine. I know what I'm doing. Inters, not needed right now. Maybe, maybe right now. But in one lap's time, trust me. Here we go then to five red lights into the Chinese Grand Prix. Absolutely chucking it down here. And it's a good start for Leclerc off P2. But into turn one, obviously Ricardo will get us. But... Let's calm it down. Let's go neutral on these. And let's go on... We'll keep on overtake mode, but let's keep it calm. These guys, they, they can fall back all they want. Verstappen's down to P8, P10. The Saubers are doing great. Gasly is ahead of Vettel now. Gasly's up into P7 in the Sauber. We're down the order. P6, P7. But the rain is going to heat up. And within one lap's time, all these guys should be coming in. They're ahead by two seconds. The pit stops like 10 at least, minimum. So unless they're going to pull like 8 seconds in one lap here, we, we, we don't need to worry. We're down to P15, 21. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We're 9 seconds back from the Stappen. Leclerc is down. They all come in though. Leclerc's back up into P9. The Stappen up into P10. We're cool. Now we go out flat out, flat out attack. Speed this up. Leclerc pushing hard and we're catching back up. And we are now going through the last corner. They all pit. And Leclerc is out in first place. And Verstappen just being yo-yoed around. Although Janney goes around the outside. But Leclerc defends really well. Did he see that though? If we pause that. Did he see that? Verstappen almost overtook Janney. But then he got ping-ponged around. Like, but he got caught up behind him. But okay. So, so far. Leclerc first place. Let's kind of take a rain check here. Uh, no pun intended. Uh, Leclerc first then. Janney second. Verstappen third. Hamilton is up into P4 now in the Williams. So he's done really well. Ricardo down to fifth. Bottas and Red Bull sixth place. Lynn then seventh. But look at this. The Sauber of Gasly doing a madness. Gasly's not even that great compared to Vettel. And he's up in P8. Vettel's down in P14. I think both Sauber's double stacked. You've got the Ferrari's doing horrendously. 15th and 16th. Um, yeah, it, well, I had to kind of do a bit of a recap there because it all went off in, within two laps. Everyone was coming in and out. And so now we are ahead and we'll push on from here. We've got quite a lot of time to go. So let's try and protect these tyres and go pushing and high. And uh, let's see how it plays out. Yanni is protecting his tyres. So he's going long maybe. We're going to make a, another stop onto four wets, I think. But I think that's going to be the way to go for us. A bit more aggressive. Uh, let's see how it plays out. Right, sit rep. Lap 6. Leclerc ahead by 4.5 seconds then. Yanni in P2, 4.5 back. Verstappen P3, trying to chase him down, but 
with the dodgy neck, I think it's more likely that Hamilton might close us up in that Williams car. We will see. We will see. But I must say, though, China looks pretty damn sweet in this stormy weather. It looks really cool. Like the sheen on the track and everything like that. It looks pretty pretty dope. But um, tire temps are rocketing down now for Leclerc. So I need to try and heat them up, keep them heated. We'll go high, high for Verstappen. 61% warm. So we're technically about a third of the way through our stint. I would say, yeah, because we're going to pit. It's lap seven. We'll pit 14, 21. Seems about right, maybe. Seems about right. So actually, you know what? Let's just... Let's just match. Let's match. Let's match Yanni and go conserve. Let's match him. Right, tyres underheated then for Leclerc and Verstappen. But you got to say it's it's the wet conditions, so they would be kind of cold. Let's see. Verstappen's doing a great job actually here. He's only you know still keeping up with the pace. Although you can see that train behind Lewis now is forming of Hamilton, Ricardo, and Bottas closing up to him there. Ricardo right up. Hamilton shaft there. Will he make a little bit of a dive bomb here? Oh, he might do down the inside. There he goes, Ricardo. Lovely move down the inside of uh, Lewis Hamilton in the Williams there. I want to keep up with, where's Gasly and all this? Gasly's P8 in the Sauber. Vettel is down P16. Gasly's doing, he's thumping his four-time world champion teammate there. Gasly doing a madness, but Verstappen staying ahead. Leclerc now 3.5 the gap, so Gianni's closed down the gap. The, the Leclerc did have a form of 2 earlier on in practice. He's now got a form of 9.1, so he is very, very confident at this stage of the race. Gianni's now on, uh, or Gianni, whatever you want to say it, is on medium. We're on conserve. That's fine. The, cap, the gap would expect to be closing, but we're trying to extend this stint as much as we can. And Paffitt has crashed. Yellow flags, and he's parked up there at the end of Sector 3. Yellow flags in Sector 3, that's fine. All's calm, though. Still 1-3. Hamilton's doing a great... Well, he was doing a great job of bottlenecking, but now Ricardo might come, come at us quite rapidly, so I'm going to use this fuel with Verstappen to try and push away and go neutral. I have to make an earlier stop with Verstappen, but maybe the price to pay to try and hold up Ricardo for the sake of Leclerc not having two Mercs trying to attack him here, but Leclerc doing a great job out in front. Remember, I think Leclerc does have a perk to, to say that if he's in first place... He, he does pretty well at controlling the race. Um, I don't know if Verstappen has that, but I'm pretty sure Leclerc had a physical perk that was that. So we'll see. But we're 11 laps in. A long, to, a long way to go. 31 laps. It's a long old Grand Prix here at China. Right. Warm tyres for Verstappen. He's six tenths faster, though. We're going to come in now. We're going to come in this lap. We're going to go for an early pit stop here. I'm going to come in. So pit in Verstappen. Another set of full wets. Pit strategy fast. We can risk that and we'll come out in seventh place. That should be fine. I'm fine with that. Seventh place is okay to come out. And we would go on to Inters then within. Yeah, it'll be one entire stint of four way because lap, around lap 17, that's not enough for Inters. That's too much rain for Inters, I think, still. So Verstappen's going to be in. We'll go low fuel now on the entry. And he's in for four wets. It's a good pit stop there. Fort Verstappen, great stuff. And he's out in P7, just like the thing said. No, it'll be P9. The indicator lied to us, but we are a lot faster than these cars ahead. So, chop, chop Verstappen. Let's push on and let's try and uh, use these extra tyres and try and uh, overtake these guys. Sainz in the Red Bull and Gasly in the Sauber being a bottleneck here. Both Verstappen and Sainz should be able to get past these guys. So, let's see. Meanwhile, Leclerc, what are you saying? 2.6 ahead of Janny. Janny's closing that gap up, but we're still extending this. Let's keep calm. What's our tyre wear? 32. Janny is 38. That's cool. That's cool. We've got fuel to burn as well. Let's use that as well. Janny's on overtake mode. We'll go on pushing. Let's just counteract him. Let's cover him off. Cover him off. Meanwhile, Verstappen pushing hard. Sainz has got past the Sauber. Can we get past the Sauber, please, now? Verstappen, come on. Come on. We're fast forwarding through here. Uh, nothing's working here. The Sauber has got some decent pace. And Verstappen with a dodgy neck is being held up here. Ricardo's pit early. Gianni continues on. And we continue on as well. I think Gianni will be coming in this lap then, I would say. Ricardo's on to a set of inters. Gianni's coming in. Gianni's coming in. So let's go overtake mode. Pushing. Let's go flat out. And let's come in for inters as well with Leclerc. Uh, yeah, risk it. Risk it. Cover off the AI. Fast pit stop with Inters. Verstappen, though, going rapid time here. You know what, son? Go full out attack. Throw it to the wall here, son, because they're going to come in. Come on, on the outside. Down the inside. There we go. Verstappen's overtaken. Gasly on track then, and he's ahead. He'll close up. Leclerc's come in. 
he'll go out in first place. No, Hamilton takes the lead on four wets, though. That's fine. That's fine. Keep it calm, then. Keep it calm. It's cool. Verstappen's up into P5, though. He's behind Janny. He's behind Janny. Oh, that's annoying, but we'll continue on. We'll continue on. Right, Verstappen's in P3. Seven seconds behind Janny. A few seconds ahead of Hamilton. We're still on the four wets, though. But we're gonna, we're, like, all of us are gonna have to come in anyway. It's time to pit for Inters. Maybe, son. But if we just stretch this, uh, if we stretch it to lap 21, or at least 20, we can go to Inters then, and it won't be, won't be much of a harsh reality, I think. I think. So let's continue pushing, Verstappen. Let's continue pushing. Leclerc, though, 2.5 ahead. He's just controlling his race. Is Yanni conserving? No, he's not. He's pushing. I'm going to conserve because I, I want to get to... I want to get quite far in this race if I can. So let's conserve. Well, we're already bringing down tire temp, but let's conserve even more then. And let's keep the high fuel level, though. What's the engine saying, though? 66. That's all right. All right, Verstappen's losing 7 tenths. Let's go up to overtake mode and flat attack. What's that going to say? Will that do anything to his pace if we go flat attack? No, it won't. Losing 1.1. Right, it's coming. Coming earlier. Right. Inters. We took the gamble. Verstappen didn't pay off. It's fine. We'll come in. Had to throw that dice. When it's raining, you have to throw the dice. We did it. Didn't work out. We're out in what will be P7 probably. Ahead of Gasly, I hope. Ahead of... Ooh, we're actually P5. That's actually not bad. That's pretty damn good. That's pretty damn good. Right, let's conserve. I think we should be able to get to the full wet period, lap 30, with Verstappen from this. We should aim for that. With Leclerc, we might be looking at another stop before then. Maybe. Right, oh, Giovinazzi's crashed. Giovinazzi's crashed. The Ferrari man is out. That's a big blow for the Scuderia then. Yellow flags, no safety car. Obviously, actually, there's no full safety car. Remember, there's only virtual safety car, but we haven't even had a virtual safety car. So, uh, we're cool, but... Janney's four seconds behind us. Now, nah, Leclerc, don't push. Just protect those tyres, mate. Protect those tyres. Do what you're doing right now. Verstappen is 1.5 seconds faster than this previous lap ahead of Sainz. Uh, we are 4.9 behind Bottas. Let's see if we can catch him, though. Let's see if we can catch him on high fuel here. Tyres underheated for Verstappen. We've got about 10 laps until the full wet maybe comes into play. But then there's Inters right at the end. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. So actually, either way, we're all making another pit stop to end this race. It's just about extending it. And about Verstappen coming back into this race. So we're going to pit lap 31. Eight laps to go. May as well push flat out right now. May as well go and just throw the kitchen sink at it, Verstappen. And then make an early pit stop if need be. But for Leclerc, we're playing a long game, trying to cover. I'm basically just covering off Janny. That's what I'm doing here. Right, Verstappen's one second faster he was in the last lap. He's catching Bottas three seconds between us, so he's gained a second. If he keeps gaining a second a lap, this is going to look good. Meanwhile, Leclerc, extending the gap, actually. 4.1, 4.2. I just hit my mic by accident. My bad. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, but Yanni's tire wear is horrendous. He's pushing flat out now because he's got to be coming in. He's got to be coming in. He's coming in. He's coming in. So it's calm. We'll continue going on. We'll continue on going on. We won't be phased by his tactics. Verstappen now goes fastest. He is flying there. 1.3 faster. He is a man on a mission and with a dodgy neck. Right. Yep. Janny's in. Verstappen with another fast lap of the Grand Prix. He's doing absolute bits at the moment here to catch Bottas. He's actually right behind Bottas. Go on, son. Overtake him, man. Overtake him. There we go. On the outside. Max Verstappen makes a good move. Bottas defends really well. Can Max get this into the next left-hander? Surely Bottas can be coming in soon. Go around the final bend. Bottas stays out. Right. Go take mode, man. Go take mode. Let's get him. Let's get him. Down the inside. No. Not quite. Not quite. Keep going. Keep going. Ricardo pits. Right. 32%. 37%. Right. Leclerc, start pushing, mate. Start pushing going to come in on the next two laps, I think. And Verstappen's attempting to overtake Bottas, I see, but he's not made it quite yet. Uh, Verstappen, mate, you've got to make this pass, mate. You've got to make it. If you're not going to, I'm going to bring you in for a pit stop. Bottas is not coming in. We're going around the outside. Come on, keep it going, keep it going. Okay, Bottas isn't coming in. 
We're going to pit. We're going to pit. We're going to try and undercut him if we can. Inters. Good. Fast pit stop. In. Low fuel. In. Come in. Bottas is not. Good. We've done the reverse of Bottas. No mistake on the pit stop. Right. Now, we will push flat out and try and overcut him if we can. No, Hulkenberg's crashed. Virtual safety car. Pit. Yeah, pit this lap, mate. Pit this lap. Virtual, sa uh, virtual safety car is not as good as a full safety car, but like real life shown, you still gain some time pitting under the virtual safety car. So we can go low and back up. And Verstappen comes out of the pits and we can go low and back up. And surely now we will jump Bottas with Verstappen and we will remain in first place with Leclerc because virtual safety car is going to end in 20 seconds. But Leclerc is going to come in in four, three, two, one. And I'm going to go full out attack now with Verstappen. But Leclerc is going to come in as soon as it's gone green. So... Hopefully, coming out. High, pushing. Leclerc still first. Oh, it's going to be close. Oh, jan has got us. He's got us. He's got us. Verstappen is ahead of Bottas. No, Bottas is not pit yet. But okay, we've got more fuel to burn, though. We've got more fuel to burn. Right, Leclerc. We've lost the lead, son. I'm sorry for that. Go out there and chase Janney now for the win. Verstappen, what are you saying? You're still P5. Close off on Hamilton. And Bottas is surely going to be overtaken by both me and, ha and Hamilton. Right, yeah, we're up into P4 with Verstappen. We're ahead of Bottas. Only just, though. And now it's the case of if Verstappen can meet Leclerc on the podium for P3. And if Leclerc can close up on Janny. Janny is where? He is just up the road. 1.4 the gap. Right. Um, let's hold station. I feel like his tire wear is really poor. So let's hold station here, Leclerc. And try and just keep the gap within two seconds. And then at the end of the race, we'll chuck the kitchen sink at it. Meanwhile, Verstappen's been overtaken by Bottas. The Red Bulls had better pace there. And Verstappen's down the order. To be fair to him, we're saving fuel and gone on medium. But dodgy neck also maybe plays into it, potentially. He's four seconds ahead of his old teammate, Carlos Sainz from the Toro Rosso days. P5 would still be bloody brilliant with Verstappen in the dodgy neck. For Leclerc, though, 1.4. I'm going to monitor that. Don't let that slip. Actually, it's in a game. We're gaining on Janny. Now it's down to 1.7. 1.8. But Janny's got so much worse tyres. He's got 52. We've got 77. Surely it's going to be another Suzuka all over again where we push as flat, uh, as flat out as possible and we overtake him at the end of this Grand Prix. Surely. It's tipping down. Full wets. No. Don't come. Don't come in. Don't come in. No one's coming in. There's no point coming in because it's going to be inters. Let's just all weather the storm as a, as a grid. Oh, no. Oh, no. Leclerc. No. No. Oh, Leclerc's crashed. I said weather the storm. He wasn't even pushing. He was on neutral and high. And he's been the only driver that has gone off there in turn one. Oh, that's so unlucky. Leclerc out of this Grand Prix. Four casualties at the Chinese Grand Prix. Virtual safety car. That means we can hold station with Verstappen in P5. But Janny's just been handed the win then on a plate. I was adamant. Adamant. 100%. We would have done a Suzuka. And we would have overtaken Janny with like 30% better tyre wear. But alas, Leclerc has crashed. That's motorsport for you. That's motorsport for you. So we've already had a spanner in the works then. So early on in the season. P4 then for Verstappen. Hoping to hold on to that and maybe get a podium for P3. But Leclerc out of the Grand Prix. Right, Verstappen, I've gone full out attack here. We've got six laps remaining. Throwing the kitchen sink at it. I want the podium. I want that podium. Verstappen in these conditions should flourish. Yeah, oh, Hamilton's pit. Hamilton's pit. He's got a mechanical issue, I think that was. Uh, where is he? Where is he? Hamilton. Oh, no, no. I think he just made a mistake. Ooh, I think Hamilton might have just made a mistake. I missed it there because I was fast-forwarding, but we're up in the third. Okay, we're in the podium. We're in the podium. We're in the podium. Just need to keep ahead of Chile. Carl Sainz and Janny Pitts onto Warn Inters. Where's Verstappen in all this? Where's Bottas in all this? Is Bottas going to have a shout? No. I think Janny... Wow. Janny had so... That's so annoying, man. Janny and Leclerc were so far ahead of everyone else that even if Leclerc pit for Inters to match Janny, we would have been there fighting for the win. Or we would have overtaken him outright 
because we had the we had the tire wear to go to the end of the Grand Prix. So that's doubly annoying because that's a double da guarantee we would have won the Grand Prix then, I think, with Leclerc. Really frustrating. Kobayashi's crashed. We've got four laps remaining. It's time just to bring this home now. Conserve and go high Verstappen. We'll just bring this through to the end, mate. Oh, we're into second. We're into second. Bottas has just pit with two laps remaining of the Grand Prix. We're on very worn tyres, though. That is the only worry here. Come on, just nurse them. Just nurse them home, Verstappen. Nurse them home. Let's go on back up, in fact. We are four seconds ahead of Bottas. We can keep that, please. We can keep that, please. Final lap of the Grand Prix. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Last lap of the Grand Prix. Let's go overtake mode. Let's push this, push this. Where is Bottas? He's just there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Come on, come on. Either way, hopefully we'll keep P3. So we can only gain from doing this and risking this for a chocolate biscuit. But come on. Come on, he's gaining, he's gaining, he's gaining. Verstappen, keep this, man, keep this, keep this through. Medium fuel, we're iffy on the fuel, high fuel now. I'm going to swap this through, high, high fuel. Overtake mode, round the final, Ben, come on. And Verstappen gets second place. Well done, buddy, well done. Great, great, well-managed race there for Verstappen. Second place, shame Leclerc's out, but our championship leader gets second place. With a dodgy neck and a worse car than Leclerc. So you've got to say he's going to be very, very happy coming up after this Grand, Grand Prix. Leclerc, not so much, mate. Hard luck. You would have got the win for sure, I think. You would have got the win for sure. But that's racing sometimes. But pretty decent Chinese Grand Prix. But Mercedes are kind of back now. They've won a race a lot earlier than they did last season. And Hamilton and Williams have done the madness. Gas. Wow. Sauber. Hello? Hamilton got P5, but Sauber with Gassi and Vettel got P6 and P7. Double high points paying positions for the Sauber team. I'll tell you what, I told you guys, it's going to be a romantic story for Sauber. Coming back into F1, they make the jump up. It's like going from the Championship to Premier League and they're just making a step up. Is this a Leicester City story for Sauber, maybe? You never know. You never know. But probably not, but they're doing really, really well. Really, really well. So in the Championship, then, we take home silver. We're ahead by three points to Bottas. Janny now moves up to third. Leclerc down to P9, unfortunately, though. And Constructors. Oh, we're 12 points behind Red Bull. Because uh, Red Bull had a really strong race then. Yeah, Bottas and Sainz were up there, P3, P4. So, uh, yeah, we've definitely got our challenge now to come back there. Because we're second and we're only just ahead of Mercedes by two points. And Sauber, our loving life up in P4... Fry Dan P9, uh, Dan P8. They're going to be ruining that they fired Sebastian Vettel. Oh, Leclerc's got a cracked rib. That is, oh my God, four weeks out. That just made this entire season very interesting. Oh dear, cracked rib. 3.5, got on there. Really good gain in money. But, oh my god. We're going to need a new driver. We're going to need a new driver. This is bad. This is very bad. He's out. He's going to be out for, for the next race. Interview with BBC. After his win, we're wondering any thoughts on Janny. Um, I'm very happy with my current two drivers. But, oh my god. Cracked rib. Jesus. Jesus. Um, right, well, find out the conclusion then of what we're going to do about Leclerc's cracked rib and Verstappen at the same time has a dodgy neck. But we'll sort that out next episode, guys. So smash the like button for this episode. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you're new around, do get subscribed for weekly Fallout content. I've been Arava. Hope you join us today, and we'll see you guys next time.